Waffle TV sponsored by West Beer and today was the cast of the new play XY. Hi guys! Hi Anna! Hello! How are all of you today? Good! Good dinner time! How's the show? <laughs> yep. Yeah. Um, yeah, a little bit, but we're, it's only our, what, second, second, third, third day of our third week. So really. The whole thing with um, the show XY, it consists of four new plays each um, week. So four new short plays, around 15 minutes each to make up the hour, and for the most part we've been using new casts each week. So um, yeah, so we're we're a fresh cast this week. So tell us about the <laughs> So um, the concept for X Y is that the writers have to write um, a short piece, like 10-15 minutes, and the roles can't be gender specific, so that the director can then cast them any way they like, which is pretty exciting. For actors, for us as actors as well, because yeah. we're getting to work for scripts that you just you get, and they, it doesn't say that you're a boy or a girl or an anything. You can kind of, I mean, obviously I am a girl. I can't change that. <laughs> <laughs> I, we're not, we're not that good. Um, <laughs> some some scripts that you get can be very prescriptive with who the characters are, and taking away the gender has also left a massive gap as to who else the character is. So with each. Uh, play and uh, the four plays this week we've got uh, You're the Kind of Girl, uh, She's a Good Girl, uh, Treading Waters, Alan. And, and so, yeah, none of the characters in there have had any gender until we got into the room with the director uh, and then been able to sort of work out how making them then gender specific has an effect on the story and it's been a really fascinating process. So, why is there no gender specific? Like, what's the reason behind it? Well, our very talented and lovely artistic director, Lisa Dunn, uh, believes very heavily in, in making um, theatre very even ground between men and women because... Uh, yeah. Just a bit more equality on stage. Yeah. Yeah. What often happens when you're writing a show or when you're putting on a show, you get the script and it's, this is a man, this is a woman, and they get very specific characters. If you're a woman, you're going to kind of act like this, you're a guy, you're going to kind of act like this. And it's really nice to get a play where you don't know that and you don't have all these expectations. I think Melissa wants to fight stereotypes yeah. in theatre yeah. and this is her way of doing it and I think it's a great idea. And I think, um, I, you know, I've, heard, I've spoken to a lot of people about it and considering it's the end of the festival and how many shows are on and how many years it's been running, loads of people have been going, you know what, this is, this is a really yeah. original idea and it's very exciting to be, yeah. to be part of it. Yeah, I've never heard of anything like it. It's very unique. Yeah, it is, it is kind of... I don't want to say, yeah, I'm going to, I'm going to say groundbreaking <laughs> when you say it, uh, because I think, um, and it's not about sort of being kind of really pro-women or anything like that, but it's just going, it's just literally what, what we happens, approach in a new way, and it's also really exciting looking at some of the pieces, there's one piece that was on earlier in the run called Gorilla Banana, um, about kind of a really aggressive gorilla who chases around a banana, and it's really kind of, um, like, got a lot of sexual tension in it, and I've seen a piece a couple of times with two women and one where the boy was the banana and the girl was the gorilla and that's really interesting just to go, it could be anything. When, when it was on last week it was done as a, as a guy as the aggressive gorilla and a girl as the banana and um, <laughs> one little old lady you heard saying afterwards, well that, you know, I don't think it was gender blind, of course it had to be the boy who was the gorilla, but you know, that kind of says, that says a lot about what, what, yeah. how she perceives, you know, gender stereotypes, so it could, it could be. There, basically, there are no mentions unless it's been put in after casting of he or she in any, yeah. in any of the scripts. And, and in one um, one of them that was written by um, Sarah Pasco, the stand-up comedian, we've had we've got two pieces written by her over the course of the four weeks. And she has gone even a step further and doesn't mention the sex of any of the characters outside of the scenes either. So, and they've all got very weird names as a result of that. But yeah. <laughs> so, how much does the plays vary? So, like comedy, they all like dark, like wow, they are so. Different. We've, 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 we're taking our one, we've got a science fiction one, and then we've got um, a bit of the old one's quite dramatic. Yeah, bit urban. A bit urban. Um, our one is quite, um, it's quite naturalistic and uh, about two therapists. But we, we've got I think some great also comedies it's as well. Say, yeah, it's a really um, across the board, quite a strong, a diverse age bracket as well, mm. which I think yeah. is really cool because a lot of the time with young companies and new writing, you get a really young cast and I, that's not the case in this, and I think that's what's really important. Because we change every week, you, 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 there's an opportunity for everyone to see all sorts. So you know, yeah. 
you came this week and you prefer to see uh, different cars, because we've got quite a young one in our week, but next week could be completely different. Yeah. So you just have to come along and see. <laughs> <laughs> so what are your plans after the French? Do you want to come back again? Oh, yes. Definitely. This is my first time, and I'm in love. <laughs> <laughs> You're loving Edinburgh. I really, really it's am. Great, yeah. <laughs> so good. So good. And it's um, just not enough time to do everything, so you just have to come back anyway and just do it. Well, so I, don't, I, don't well, I think I think um, I think Paper Cup will be coming back next year. I mean, I don't. Yeah, know, actually, they, they they've had some great feedback this year. So, uh, and if you if you want to find uh, more about them, you can go to uh, is it www.papercuptheatre.co.uk uh, or on Twitter at Paper Cup. Well, <laughs> thank you so much for talking with us today, and you can catch X Y at the Pleasance Courtyard. Yes. Yes. We're at Pleasance Baths at twelve forty-five every day. Right up to the 26th? Yes. This has been Waffle TV.